What's up, bitches? <laughs> um, a friend of mine named Cliff came back out into the world to speak out his opinion about the situation. And it has inspired me to go ahead and let my opinion be known. I'm not fucking with the human disguise today. I don't give a fuck what you think. Here's what's up. Ever since the coronavirus hit, I've had no idea what's going on in the state of this. And like in the whole of the world. I'm huge on conspiracy theories, whatever. Just because I want to get to the bottom of it. I know there's more going on than people think is going on. For the first time in my life, I'm comfortable not knowing what's going on. And it's not because it's so extreme. It's just that what difference does it make if I know all I can do is adapt. All I can do is keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. Now this. First, I should have... I should have started with, and I apologize for not starting with, my heart goes out to the families that knew George Floyd. I'm sorry you lost somebody you loved. There's nothing harder, period. And the people responsible for his life, taking his life, need to be punished to the full extent. I would say of the law, but I don't know if the law is going to be fair enough. Like, Beat the fuck out of these pieces of shit. Send them to prison, though, because I hear that they don't take kindly to fucking racist fucks in prison. And if they weren't racist, then they're fucking irresponsible, worthless, power-hungry psychos who need to have their fucking asses beat until they realize that you have nothing over another person. Nothing. We are all the same. Now, to the movement. My brother's black. Not my biological brother. But my brother, someone who I was, I've known him for 20 fucking years, he's my blood. There's no part of anything in the way that we interact or have ever existed that has not been the same as I am with my siblings that are my genetic blood. He's my family. I have a nephew who's mixed. He's not half African American. His dad... Is from, his dad's parents are from Trinidad, which is a little island. So African Americans know the right term. He's half black. I know that there's all sorts of bullshit ass fucking sensitivity. I get it. But melanin dominant? Now I feel like I'm just being oversensitive. My point for that is I raised my nephew from the time. Well, not raised, because his, his mom was there, but I was a part of his life from the time he was born until he was six years old when he moved to Florida. He was, he's one of the most significant life forms that's ever had any influence on me in this life. And even before that, I despise racism. It's ignorant. It's just fucking counterproductive. There's nothing good about it. It's, it's just like, I'm going to, okay. So it's like walking in, okay, no offense, Christians, but it's like saying the earth is 4,000 years old or 6,000 years old or whatever. And that Satan sent dinosaurs here to trick us. It's fucking moronic. If you can't wrap your head around logic or reason, then you should at least realize you're not in your right mind. Racism is dead to me. It is the equivalent of fucking thinking the earth is 6,000 years old. It's just fucking retarded. It's choosing to stay completely ignorant and stupid and, like, I want to smack the fucking shit out of people. I grew up in a poor neighborhood. I grew up in a trailer park. Okay, the worst trailer park in my city. Franklin Valley Estates for all you motherfuckers from Kalamazoo. <clears throat> we didn't give a fuck what color you were. I went to the poor schools, okay? It's a blessing. With a mouth black and white. We were just all people. We're all just kids. Everybody struggled. My best friend was black. I didn't even consider it. Carmisha Duvall, if you're out there, I love you. But it wasn't about color. It wasn't about class either because we were all poor. And it was a blessing. And that's why I believe I have the viewpoint I do on race. Now, <clears throat> sorry it took me so long to get here, but <clears throat> riots. Protesters, I salute you. I stand united with you. Um, it was an atrocity what happened. And I'm grateful that the world is finally seeing that it is a problem. That police brutality or abuse of power or disregard for human life is an issue that needs to be addressed immediately. Uh, if one of the cops were black, I would still be 
appalled and I would still demand justice and I hope everyone else would too. Um, I don't think we know what's going on. That was my point for my original statement. I believe that if not human or conscious, like manifested physical body, sorry, right, I'm going to go backwards. If it's not people who are pushing each other to act like fucking morons and encouraging stupidity and like riots and pillaging and stealing everybody's stuff, then it's got to be some sort of energetic something that's picking up the greed and the worthless ass shit inside of people and making it come out right now. For fuck's sake. There's literally no no good that can come of hurting other people. And I do believe change is necessary. I do believe extreme extreme actions need to happen. But not against each other. If you want to riot and picket and you want to steal something, go to the Vatican. Okay? Maybe it's a longer drive, but whatever. I mean, I don't really know how many people are aware in the White House of what's going on, but that's a good fucking place to start. Go to the police stations and protest. Don't, I mean, when we take a life or when we harm someone's life, what are we really protesting against? Because that's who we are then. We've become the monster that we're trying to pretend that we have a problem with. Um, two of my best friends got into an argument. Not argument, but a a very well handled disagreement about their t their take on this. And my friend Cliff said, "All this is doing is dividing us more." And he's right. Does race matter? Does our p appearance really matter? Fucking no. It's ignorant. It's stupid. It's choosing to act on something that is obviously wrong. It's like saying the sky is orange and so I'm going to wear sunglasses that only block out this certain type of light or something. You're going to go blind, motherfucker. Okay, or sunscreen. I don't know. You get my point. It's acting against what is obvious. Race does not matter. I truly hope change comes because change has been needing to come for a long time. But let's not, let's not turn into evil people. Let's not turn into racist bigots. Let's not overexpose ourselves to shit that divides us. Let's fight the enemy. And I don't know that it's as much about race as it is about, I don't want to say class either because I don't know if that's right. It's, and I'm, I apologize for the part of the 1% that's not bad, but the 1%, okay? If anybody on this planet has a billion dollars, why is anyone on this planet starving? And that's a real problem for me. Why are there people who have nowhere to go in the winter? No home. And these people have six houses in three different fucking countries. You want to know who the real enemy is? It's the people who are trying to control you. Who are trying to divide you. And I'm done. I don't know if anybody would make it this far to the video, because I probably wouldn't if I was watching it, but be smart, except that we don't know what's going on. Take care of each other. That's all I can say. Good luck.